name is Artastic and in this video art tutorial we're going to be drawing some holly perfect for the upcoming um, holiday season and Christmas. So grab your favorite art making mediums and let's make some Christmas art. So we're going to begin our slightly mischievous uh, holly berries. So first we're going to draw one big circle. We're going to draw a second one and we're going to overlap. So we're going to start on by drawing one dot on this circle or berry and we're going to draw another dot a little bit lower. Then we're going to go from one dot, make a nice big curved line up around and tuck it in at the second dot. And we're gonna add a third berry kind of hiding or being smushed up against the other. So we're gonna make a smushy sort of berry with a curving top at the top of the berry here. So a curving line at the top. And we're just gonna make him look a little bit squished with its siblings up here. So we're gonna have a Nice round shape at the bottom, but it's going to curve down with a little dimple at the top. So he's, it's kind of smushed in there, all squished. All right, at the very top of every berry, so you're going to decide where the top of the berry is. You're going to put a little curving X. So we're going to draw an X, but the lines are going to be slightly curved. And the smushy one, I'm going to curve them the opposite way because it's feeling the stress there. The berries are also shiny, so we're going to add some curving rectangles somewhere on the top to create a glare spot for the light. We're going to keep those white so it looks nice and shiny. All right, we're going to add some faces. We're going to start off with a squished guy, and we're going to start off by adding two sideways V shapes for the eyes where, he, where it's just like, ah, feeling the pressure there. And we're gonna draw a zigzag line for the mouth. This one here, our very first one we drew, we're gonna draw two circles, one on either side of the berry, so right next to the outside line. And in each of those circles, we're gonna draw one big circle and one small circle. Then you can go ahead and color in the rest of the eye dark, leaving just those little circles nice and white. Between the eyes, we're gonna draw a straight line. See, between the eyes. And we're gonna connect that straight line with a U shape. From one side of the mouth down to the bottom, we're gonna draw a curved line. And then you can go ahead and color in the dark of the mouth, leaving that tongue nice and white. Next, over here, we're going to draw a nice curving line for one eye, where our berry's kind of winking, and a circle on the other side. In that circle, one big circle, one small circle, and we'll color in the dark of the eye, white as well. I mean dark as well, leaving the circles nice and white. For this guy, we're going to draw a nice curving line up with a little corner in one cheek. And then we'll draw a tongue lifting up with a line up it. So it's sticking out its tongue. All right, we gotta draw some holly leaves. So we're gonna draw, pick two spots. I'm gonna do it, have my lines coming out or my leaves coming out from where this they all kind of meet here. So where these two guys meet this third guy on the bottom, that's where I'm gonna put my lines for the center of my leaves. But feel free to add a line anywhere you would like for your leaves. Nice and thick lines so our audience can see our artworks. And then we're gonna draw high leaves. So we're gonna draw a curving line out, curve it like a wave, and then back up to a point, curve it down like a wave, back up. Then at the when you get to the top, we're gonna draw one line that curves up to a point. We're gonna come back down in the same way. So curve it out, wave, 
wave, wave, connect. And holly leaves are shiny, so we're gonna draw some curving triangles here and there, and these will stay white for the glare of light. Over to the next one, we're gonna draw a curve up and out. Wave, wave, up to a point. Wave, wave, down and attach. Draw some shiny areas that will remain white, just like that. And of course, now we're ready to color. Okay, so I'm gonna set aside my lovely marker that I drew with. I'm gonna grab a green and I'm gonna start off by coloring in my leaves green. Of course, I'm gonna leave those areas white and I'm also gonna leave this top edge here nice and white as well, just to ensure I get maximum shine on my leaves. They're so very shiny. Lovely. Up the other side. Perfect. All right, next I gotta get a red. Mm, let's see. I like to test my colors first. Ah, that's a lovely red. Test your colors, whatever you're drawing with, and then you can go ahead and color it in, making sure you leave those curving rectangles nice and white. And you can also leave that top edge of your berry white as well, just again, to add a little bit of extra shine to your berries. Lovely. All right, so now that we have that all done, we're going to grab our gray and we're going to shade it in. Oh, but I gotta also color my tongues. I forgot about that. All right, pink for our tongues since we have already used some red. And if you also want to add a little bit of extra detail, you can get a nice fine blue and just add a little bit of blue to the white on the eyes, you can even do it on the shiny areas. And that will just add a third color so it's not so minimalistic. If you just wanna add a little bit of details, it's really up to you. All right, here we go, grab your gray. Switch my sides here, gray. All right, gonna take that gray and first we're gonna start off by going along that center line on the leaf. Then we're gonna go along the bottom side. And add a nice shadow there as well. Isn't that great? Okay, we're also gonna add a shadow where the berries are sort of casting shadows upon each other there and around those X areas. We also wanna go around their eyes. That'll make them extra cute, of course. shade around the bottoms of their mouths. Boom. And just like that, your lovely holly berries are done. I'm Ms. Artastic and that's the end of this episode. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and for more art lessons, 100 exclusive art lessons, make sure that you check out my course, 100 Cartoons for Kids. The link is in the description of this video and it's 100 exclusive drawing tutorials, premium 
drawing tutorials for kids. You can use it as a course for at home if you're a kid. You can follow along with any medium or if you're a teacher, you can use it as your directed drawing program in your classroom for obviously an entire year because you have 100 drawing videos to choose from for your classroom. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video and comment with ideas for things that you want me to draw in future drawing tutorials. I'm always open for ideas. So comment with things that you want me to draw and let's make some art. Thank you.